Hi, good morning. For the record, my name is Ruben Rio, president of the Nevada State Education Association. And I'm speaking against the funding of the voucher program. On the surface, school choice seems like a great idea. Parents get the opportunity to choose what schools best meet their children's needs. Even to the point where in some of our suburbs where parents reside in four and five star schools, they're applying for the voucher program. And you have to ask yourself for what reason? Is it because they're not happy being at a four or five star school? Or they're looking for something different in the terms of schools like Gorman, the Meadows, or Faith Lutheran. So uh, what it really is, is it's a way to make private schools cheaper for wealthy people, for rich people, to further erode the public education system and allow private and for-profit corporations to divert money from public education to uh, their stockholders. And here's why vouchers are bad because almost, they almost never provide students with the full amount of tuition to go to a, a private school, knowing that there are way too many activities that cost money and also transportation. They don't have to accept everyone. They're notorious for kicking students out who are hard to teach. My nephew is an example of one of those difficult students who got kicked out of Trinity High School back in Kansas. Voucher schools actually give parents less choice than traditional public schools, and they, are, and they often do no better than traditional public schools, especially some of the schools that parents are having their children come out of. It increases segregation and takes away funding from traditional public schools, leaving those who are left behind to deal with the shattered classrooms, increased classroom sizes with the lack of resources to teach the rest of the students. Properly funding parallel school systems would in, be incredibly wasteful and expensive. And school choice takes away the attention from the real problems in public schools, the poverty and our inadequate funding. School choice is not supported by grassroots movement, it's supported by billionaires. If we want to ensure that every child in this country gets an excellent education, we need to commit to supporting our public schools in a system. We need to invest rather than divest. We all need to be in this together with no risky backroom deals that endanger the our students and their future in public education. So the ad only additional concern I have is the role of the Treasury Department in our school choice program. Someone who was earlier testifying said that it was ESAs, not vouchers, and not the same thing. What's that old saying? You can put lipstick on a pig and it's still a pig? You know? So uh, the concern with this being in the Treasurer's office is that there really hasn't been any experience by the Treasurer in public education. In fact, we feel that um, it would be better move somewhere else. We, we don't want it, period, to be honest with you, okay? But the way that the treasurer's office has handled this, and also after you're giving directions to the treasurer and, and guidelines on how to operate things, then follow them. It was a blatant disrespect for the guidelines that were given. If there were any educator, teacher, support staff member, or anybody in the school system who did what was done in the treasurer's office, would be terminated and fired. Thank you very much.